problems where you're evaluating them using the definition of a derivative. Um, right here we have f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Um, so anytime you have something of this form over here, it's equal to f prime of x. So I think the biggest thing is recognizing that um, the problem requires using this formula. So um, the first example, it says the limit as h goes to 0 of the fourth root of 16 plus h minus 2 all over h. So right here um, in the numerator, you have the fourth root of 16 plus h. That's going to be your f of x plus h. Um, over here on the right, top right, is going to be your minus f of x. And then obviously it's all over h. So this expression is equal to f prime of x. So here where the formula looks like it's going in this direction, we're going to obviously be given something of this form, and we're going back the other direction and saying that it's equal to f prime of x. So when you're doing these problems, the first thing you want to do is you want to recognize what f of x is. So in this problem, f of x, um, again, we're going to look on the numerator on the left side. Um, because x plus h is being plugged into the function, so again, x plus h is plugged into f. Um, if you kind of look at this, you're trying to figure out what would the function be. So the function is going to be the fourth root of x. So that's f. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of it. So in order to do that, first I want to rewrite it as x to the one-fourth. And then now we can take the derivative using the power rule. So you bring your power down to the front. And then subtract 1 from the exponent. So if we subtract 1, that's the same as subtracting 4 over 4. So you get negative 3 fourths. And I'm going to rewrite that 1 over 4 times x to the 3 fourths. So now you found the derivative of f and then you're going to plug in um, the x value. So if you look up here, this says 16 plus h. So if you look at the formula, since it's x plus h, that means that x is 16. So to finish this, f prime of 16, we're going to plug in 16 to the 3 fourths. So to evaluate that, you get 1 over, and then right here, to evaluate 16 to the 3 fourths, you're going to do um, 16 to the 1 fourth, which is 2, and then it's still cubed. So you get 2 cubed is 8, so our final answer is 1 over 32. Okay, on this next problem, we have the limit as h goes to 0 of cosine of pi over 4 plus h minus cosine of pi over 4 all over h. So again, it is in the same form. You have f of x plus h, and this is minus f of x. So this one's kind of nice to see um, the different pieces to it. The function f of x, you can again, you can see it from both of them actually. The function is just going to be cosine of x. So we're going to take the derivative, since this whole thing equals f prime of x. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. And then you're going to evaluate. Um, and you can see that right here. This is supposed to be the x plus h. So that's going to be the value that you plug in the pi over 4. So you end up getting negative sine of pi over 4 and then sine of pi over 4. Sine is root 2 over 2. So negative root 2 over 2. Another example, we have the limit as h goes to 0 of tangent of x plus h minus tangent of x all over h. So this one, you'll notice, is different than the previous two because it actually says x plus h right here. So nothing has been plugged in um, for this x. So this whole thing is equal to f prime of x. So first step, identify f. 
So again, you can look at them and you can see that f is going to be tangent of x. Then you're going to take the derivative. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And again, because there's nothing plugged in for x, um, that's going to be your final answer, just secant squared of x. For this problem, um, we have the limit as h goes to 0 of 3 plus h to the 4th minus 81 all over h. And um, again, this is of the right form, so this whole thing is equal to f prime of x. So we're going to first identify f of x. And again, you can look on the top left. Um, this is the x plus h. So your f of x is kind of, if you cover that up, your f of x is just the function that's left, so it's x to the 4th. We're going to take the derivative, and you get 4x cubed. And then we're going to plug in, um, because again, this is the x plus h, we're going to plug in 3 for x. So that gives you 108. All right, and that's my really quick review of evaluating um, expressions, limit expressions um, that are specifically in this form um, where it's using the definition of a derivative. I wanna love you and treat you right.